Hey guys, this is Mr. A Krizzy here, and welcome back to another movie review. In today's movie review, this is gonna be on this is gonna be on a Warner Brothers movie from 2003, and that's gonna be on Looney Tunes Back in Action. So, Looney Tunes Back in Action is a 2003 Looney Tunes movie, and stars Brandon Fraser, Steve Martin, Jenna Elfman, and and of, and of course, the movie's about the movie's about what the movie's about. It goes like this: sick of setting the 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 spotlight to Bugs Bunny, Davy Duck is is fired by by the studio boss Kate Hodden. Yeah, Kate Hodden. When 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 he, when he demands equal pay and billing, Davy Davy go, goes on 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 a stu, on a studio lot rampage, taking down security guard DJ Drake in the process, who is also sacked. Yep, that's what it says. But when DJ's A-list actor dad, played by Tim Tim V. Dalton, is kidnapped by the evil the evil Mister Chairman, played by Steve Martin, like you know, DJ and Daffy try to rescue him while also being pursued by Kate and Bugs, and of course it they're and of course they're also try, they're also they're also out to try and stop this blue diamond called the Blue Monkey that that's gonna that's gonna turn every human into into blue monkeys and you know. So, so that's pretty much what Looney Tunes Back in Action is about. So, I remember watching this movie like a long time ago, and I remember I remember seeing like the trailer for this film. Then I watched the movie like a long time ago when I was little, and and I gotta say, in my unpopular this may be an unpopular opinion, but I gotta say, I, I I know a lot of people don't really like this movie. I know a lot of people don't really like Looney Tunes Back in Action, but in my opinion. This this might be considered an unpopular opinion, but I, I think Looney Tunes back in action. I think it's a pretty decent movie in my opinion. Yeah, and plus the the, the movie was directed by Joe Dante, and 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 of course I I also heard that I also knew I also heard that that Looney Tunes back in action was is also the the last movie the last movie where where the music score was composed by Jerry Goldsmith, and the last reel of the film was actually composed by John Debney. Yeah, because, because because due to Jerry Goldsmith's declining health, it, like the last reel of the film was act was actually scored by by John Debney. And then of course the following year after Looney Tunes Back in Action came out, Jerry Goldsmith died from colon cancer. Yeah. Yeah, rest in peace, Jerry Goldsmith. Like Jerry Goldsmith had Jerry Goldsmith has composed music scores for many other movies, and he he also did the Universal Studios fanfare as well from nineteen ninety seven to twenty twelve. And, 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 and of course the humor itself in Looney Tunes back in action, the humor, like the cartoon humor, it, it's still funny because it's Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes is meant to be funny and hilarious too. And, and the voice acting itself, it's pretty, pretty decent. And, and the live, and the live action performances, like the actors in this film, like one of them I'm kind of not really a fan of, like Brendan Fraser. I mean, I'm kind of not that much of a Brendan Fraser fan since I know Brendan Fraser has, has, has been in like many bad movies. I mean, some some of his I mean, a little bit of his movies are considered to be good, like like the Mummy, like like Brendan Fraser was still pretty decent in the Mummy, but <clears throat> but all the other movies he was in were pretty bad, like Furry Vengeance, yeah, that piece of crap, Furry Vengeance, like he was terrible, he was awful in that movie, he was terrible in Furry Vengeance. But I and Brendan Fraser in this film, like Looney Tunes back in action, I, I guess I guess I could say he he did like a solid job, period. And Jenna Elfman, she was pretty decent as well. And Steve Martin, Steve Martin did okay as well. And and yeah, because I remember I remember when I first watched the trailer for Looney Tunes Back in Action. I remember the trailer music to Looney Tunes Back in Action is is actually some stock music from that's called Kitchen Sink by by it's by Network Music Assemble. Because the, the Kitchen Sink background music was was also featured in the in the in the VHS and DVD for all about fast moving trains. I actually still have the DVD in my in my TV room. But yeah, it, it's basically the cartoon music like Kitchen Sink that was also in the all, all about fast moving trains DVD and VHS. Yeah, because I recognize that music. And and plus there was also there's also some many references in, in the movie too like like I know I know this one movie reference like like there was there was also a movie reference in, in the movie Looney Tunes back in action there was also a scene that that's referencing the the, the famous shower scene from Psycho 
Because, you know, it's like when Bugs, when Bugs Bunny was, like, in the shower and, and then, you know, it's like, I think it's like, you know, I think, cause, and, I, and, and of course the shower curtain gets pulled and pulled open and, and, and of course Bugs Bunny screams and then, yeah, and then because it references Psycho. Which I think that I, th I still think that was probably pretty good. Uh, I still think that was a pretty good reference to to the to, to the scary movie Psycho. So, so overall, Looney Tunes Back in Action is a decent movie from two thousand three, and I'm gonna give Looney Tunes Back in Action. I'm gonna give it three and a half out of five. Yeah, it's pretty decent for what it is. Three and a half out of five. That's what I think. Because I, I, I honestly still prefer the first Space Jam movie for 1996. I still prefer the first Space Jam. And I also prefer Space Jam A New Legacy as well. Yeah. So yeah, if, if, if you haven't seen Looney Tunes back in action yet, then I say give it a watch. If you're, if you're like a huge fan of Looney Tunes, then it's definitely, it, you'll, you'll probably like it. So there you have it, guys. That's going to be it for my movie review on Looney Tunes Back in Action. And so that's going to be it for this video. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Mr. A. Crizzy saying goodbye, everybody, and that's about it.